lot of what we do is trying to portray a kind of persona to the music, give the music life, and that takes a lot of connection with the player, the players together, and also what the composer is wanting to get out of the music. There's a place for everyone in the band program. You can be any type of person you want to be and you'll be able to fit in here. You have to breathe with the sound that you want to make. Let's take it at the 6-4. I think the biggest thing that I've learned or come to love about this band program is that it's really a home for a lot of people. You rely on every single person individually to do their job, and even if you are a person who isn't necessarily driven by a musical force, you have a responsibility to everybody. Usually everybody ends up becoming really close, even though there are 300 people in the program. It's a family in a lot of ways, and it's on a much bigger scale than most people ever get to experience. Well, the concept of we, the power of we, it's about the relationships that we form in this school district, in our classrooms, and with each other as professionals, and outside of our classrooms, with the community. You take away one part of that equation, and you'll have diminishing returns. So, everything we're doing in our program is built around the structure of you need the person next to you. Uh, you're counting on that person next to you. So when we have a freshman class like we do this year in band of 96 kids, and they come in in August to meet the other 200 kids in the band program, they have to know, they have to believe, they have to trust that those other 200 kids want and need them to be successful. They all have really ambitious goals. Four, one, two. That's it, pencil it in, whatever you need to do so we don't forget that. So here we go, Mozart, right? We as teachers have ambitious goals for what happens in our classrooms across the district, but we need each other in order to accomplish them. I can't do it by myself. None of the directors can do it by themselves. None of the teachers can do it by themselves. We need our kids to work hard enough. We need the right literature. We need the right equipment. We need the support of the community in order to make it work. And you take away any piece of that equation and it won't work. In this class, we are focusing on keyboards and students working independently on songs with me checking in. And at the computers, they're working on GarageBand and creating a rondo form composition. There's many studies that, um, and not just with music, but with anything you're trying to teach children, that the earlier you get it, the better. Um, but with music especially, how, how music affects the brain and how not only does it affect the right hemisphere but also the left hemisphere and correlates with the learning of math and you know so many other subjects. The earlier you can get it, the better the students are at it and it helps their academics. From 51 to 83, tick, 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 make sure your eighth notes are dead on. One of the things that I find most rewarding and valuable about what we do in the Island School District music programs is that there are as many avenues to being successful as there are kids. There are student leadership opportunities. There are musical opportunities as a soloist or as a, um, as a really advanced musician. So each student can find their path to success. If we were to limit those opportunities, then we're also limiting the kinds of kids that can be successful in our program. I think it's key that kids connect to their school and that can be through sports or it can be through music or whatever it is. Uh, Henry struggled a little bit finding the right niche for him in music in middle school and because of the strengths of the program and, and David Bentley especially, we were able to work around those things and find the right niche for him when he got to the high school. And that niche happened to be in the drum line and he was, you know, just blossomed and took off and and that becomes a really cool part of the band there's a lot of activity that goes on and they're just an integral part of all the music activities that go on here i've had these teachers for i think seven years and they become so close to you because they follow you through such a big part of your life they really get to know each student personally and 
they're always open for talking. The other thing that might be cool is you, you actually stand up and face her. You can go to literally with every, anything, whether it's from difficulties in other classes to difficulties at home. They're basically counselors, teachers, friends. They're everything that you could want in a person, and it's really good to have that kind of person in your life. One of the nicknames that the ensemble has of itself, the band program, is Pride of the Island. And so much of that pride comes from themselves. They are genuinely proud and take responsibility for the success and the leadership of our program. What that does for students as they move through into the rest of their life, first and, and most important, is it tells them that they can. They can do those sorts of things. And it can be terrifying as a teacher to turn that responsibility over to students, but I have yet to be disappointed. Uh, they rise to the occasion, they learn, and then they pass that knowledge on to the rest of the students in the group. I think the band especially helps people get involved in the school. Throughout all our assemblies, the drum line always marches in, and every student comes, and they, there's a big mosh pit dance circle in the middle of the gym before each assembly because of the drum line and because of the band music they play. Um, or at every marching band game, there are middle schoolers, there are parents, high schoolers. During our performances especially, we really, um, have really spirited performances, and I think it's more, um, it's not really about us performing and showing people that we can march well or that we, can, we all have accurate eight to fives or whatever, as much as just um, kind of building spirit I think it kind of helps spread the spirit, spread the sense of community throughout our school. We could be exclusive, and in some ways, we would be better if we were, but we would be changing how we define success for our students. Our goal is that every student, and not just every student in our chair, but every student who could be in our chair is successful, and all those students have something to learn from each other, so we want them. I know that being able to share something so amazing with these people that I love so much has made it a really, really meaningful experience for me, but we also all want to be better. We also push each other to be the best that we can be. I think I just look forward, I see a bright future. I think I have help around me, right? I have classmates, I have good teachers. Right, um, and I have the possibility to work hard, so I do. I'm going to keep going with piano and definitely keep going with violin. And I love doing drama, so when I, I'm going to keep doing that and keep singing. It just makes me happy, and um, it's fun to play, first of all. And it can also express emotions, and it just brings joy to me. High school, I'm definitely sticking with the band. The high school band, marching band especially, sounds like it would be a lot of fun. You get to go to a lot of cool places, you get to hang out with a lot of cool friends. I mean, if you're out of school where about one-fourth of the high school is in the marching band, I feel like that kind of would be a really cool experience. My favorite part has to be meeting other people especially people not in my same grade, people who I wouldn't normally hang out with, people I wouldn't normally even know. After that are the opportunities to perform, to get better, to learn. Mr. Bixby empowers us with the thought that we are not just people that go through the motions. We have a higher place to aspire to. Setting a higher standard for ourselves, setting goals and reaching them.